Hello, welcome to PCPing.com. My name is Arun Nair. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a VPN server on your home-based router like Linksys, D-Link, Netgear, etc. using DDWRT. DDWRT is an open source Linux-based firmware that you can install on your home router and that will replace the factory default firmware that comes along with it. Now, if you want to know if your router supports DDWRT, you can go to the site called dd-wrt.com and go to the link router database and type in the make and model number of your router and it should come here. All right, so if your router is supported, uh, it would say supported. And if it says yes, it's supported. And if it says WIP, it's work in progress. And if it says no, it's not supported. So my router is supported and I have already installed DDWRT on my router. To know how to install DDWRT, you can just search for videos on YouTube uh, with your router make and model, or you can also find a lot of documentation on DDWRT website itself. All right, so for now, I'm going to access my router page by typing in the default gateway of my computer or the router's IP address, which is 10.0.0.1, and then go to the tab, say services, and here you will see a tab called VPN. So this is where we, we are going to work now, before we go any further, I would like to tell you that if you want to set up a VPN connection, make sure that your WAN connection is configured on this device where you're setting up the VPN. For example, you might have a modem that's provided by the internet service provider and you will, you will have a router like this. Now, if your WAN credentials, that is your PPPoE credentials, if it's a DSL connection or if you, your cable modem credentials are configured on your modem, then this will not work. So you will have to check that and ensure your WAN credentials are configured on this device where you're setting up VPN, right? And uh, under PPTP server, ensure that enable is selected for all these three options. Then for server IP address, enter the IP address of this router. Then for client IP, enter a range of IP address which will be used to allocate to the clients when they connect to the VPN. So uh, I have given it 10.0.0.200 to 250. Now there's a catch here. This IP range should not conflict with your local LAN IP range. So what I mean is if I go to setup and if I scroll down, I'll see network address server settings DHCP and I've enabled DHCP server set to enable my starting IP address is 10.0.0.2 and maximum DHCP users I have set it to 150. So if I bring in a laptop or a tablet or anything and connect to the local network, I will be getting an IP address anywhere between 10.0.0.2 until 10.0.0.151 because it's like 150 users from two, so it's 151. Now, when I go to services and under VPN, I should not give any IP address between 10.0.0.2 until 10.0.151. So I chose a range from 200 to 250, all right? Now, chap secrets, this is the field where you enter the list of user accounts and their passwords. So this is the format. You need to enter the username, leave a space, put a star and uh, leave a space, type in the password of the user and uh, then leave a space, a star. So it's username, space, two stars and the password in between the stars but you have to have a space at the beginning and at the end All right now you can enter more user accounts for example if i want to have one more user account for john i can just type john space star space uh, welcome one which will be the password space star all right so i can keep entering as many user accounts as i want and click apply settings and save and that'll save the configuration all right so for now i have already saved all the configuration Ensure that you leave all these things as disabled. Now make a note of the WAN IP address. So my WAN IP address is here. Make a note of that. You need this IP address when you are trying to connect to the VPN. Now I'm going to switch to my laptop, which is connected to a different network, a totally different internet service provider. I'm going to show you uh, how to configure the VPN client on that to connect to this network. All right, so I have logged into my laptop and now I wanna to connect to my uh, home network using VPN. So I go to start, control panel, network and sharing center, then click this option, set up a new connection or network. Select the third option, connect to a workplace, set up a dial-up or VPN connection to your workplace. Click next, then select the first option, use my internet connection, then type in the 
public IP address that you have made a note of uh, on the DDWRT page, which is a WAN IP address. So I'm typing my public IP address here. Then destination name, you can just give any display name. So I'm going to type home VPN, click next, type in the username and the password. And the domain is optional, you can leave it blank. Select remember password so you don't have to type every time. Click connect. And you are connected. So now I go to command prompt by typing CMD and type IP config. I see that I've got an IP address 10.0.0.200 from my VPN server, which is the PPP adapter home VPN. Now I can access my home network, the home computer by just typing the IP address of my home computer. And here you go. I enter my username and password for my home computer and I can just access the files. All right, this is how you set up a VPN connection for yourself at your home. And you can actually connect your home network while you're roaming outside or if you're not at your home. Now, I would like to give you a, a tip here. Um, if, you're, if, you're, if your internet service provider provides you a dynamic IP address, uh, which means that if your WAN IP address or the public IP address changes every time when you uh, reboot your modem or when the connection disconnects or reconnects, it's a good idea to set up a dynamic DNS account and configure it on your DDWRT router. Now, I'm going to make a video how to set up a dynamic DNS on your DDWRT. I'll post a link on this video as soon as I upload that video. I hope this video was informative for you. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.